think it ends here, don't you? Do you know why they call it Dark Mirror? I don't care, Singularity. It's over. Don't forget. I know Agency Tech, Logan. I know all about you. More than you know yourself. Your rifle, for instance. Don't. I mean it. Your X-34 gas darts. Who do you think manufactures them? Who do you think supplies all of your arms? Look in the mirror, Logan. See your reflection. Look in the dark mirror. I said don't. That's for Addison. I don't need a dark mirror to see who I am or what I'm capable of, Singularity. I already know. Teresa, it's over. Singularity is dead. I heard. I heard everything. I've got an agency mop-up crew on the way. Tell them they won't have much time. I'm going to find Leon and the kid. She won't talk to me anymore. She's been through a lot. She kept asking about her mother. I didn't know what to say. It's not your fault. She's just as bright as Addison was. You've been through a lot, kid. Let's head home. No surprises here. Project Dark Mirror essentially is what the President would call a weapon of mass destruction. Or more accurately, mass death. Cochleanthes Amazonica, when gene spliced with a member of the toxic Odendron family, secretes an extract which can be synthesized into a very powerful nerve agent. Nerve gas? That's what this whole thing is about? Project Dark Mirror is nerve gas? Sort of. But trust me. This is unlike any nerve agent we've ever seen. Most nerve agents have limited lethality because they dissipate too quickly in the air. Project Dark Mirror is different. In aerosol form, the nerve gas binds with oxygen molecules, enabling the gas to hover in the air for long periods of time. So it doesn't dissipate as it spreads? No. Instead, it grows more deadly. If Hargrove hadn't interfered, by now Red Section would have synthesized enough of it to kill half of Europe.
Goodbye, Addison.